A new policy brief blamed the ongoing shortages of critical drugs at hospitals on health care middlemen. JT Siskowski has you covered on who these middlemen are and how one local hospital is adjusting to shortages. There are certainly populations, whether it be cancer patients, whether it be parents of newborns, uh, people that need pain relievers in hospitals that are simply not able to get the medications that they need. Hospitals across the country and right here in Wisconsin can't get many of the basic drugs they need. The shortage crisis that we currently are facing is unprecedented. Sarah Sirota wrote a policy brief for the American Economic Liberties Project that blames the shortage on group purchasing organizations. GPOs act as middlemen, helping hospitals buy drugs and other medical supplies. So the overwhelming majority of 5,000 or so hospitals basically go to these three middlemen to get the supplies that they need. And GPOs make their money by charging the manufacturers for the right to sell to member hospitals. These middlemen exert so much pressure on manufacturers, specifically of the low cost generic drugs that are currently in shortage that no manufacturer wants to make them. And these drug shortages are forcing local hospitals like SSM Health St. Mary's here to adapt, including banding together to make their own. Drug shortages have persisted for so long that SSM Health now has codified processes for managing them. The healthcare provider helped found Civica RX in 2018. Civica is a nonprofit that manufactures generic medications for member hospitals. But the 60 medications it makes are far from everything a hospital needs. And Sirota wants the government to regulate GPOs. But without some kind of large scale change, shortages are likely to persist. In Madison, JT Siskowski, 27 News.